2001 and started college in September of that year. I was trying to be a journalist. I really enjoyed the college experience, but a couple weeks into the semester, September 11th happened and the country was completely transformed. I ended up dropping out of college and joining the Air Force. I was a carpenter in the military for a good five years. I went to Iraq in 2005. Uh, when I got out, I was a completely different person. Transition was hard, so I took a year off to focus on readjusting. When I was ready, I went back to Bridgewater, and this time I was focusing on photography. I was an art major. Um, found out I was pregnant my second semester, and ended up having to take a year off to focus on being a mom and be with my daughter during her first year of life. It was an amazing experience. And when I came back to school, I ended up focusing more on communication studies. I wanted to be a lawyer. It wasn't until maybe a couple, maybe a semester in, I started falling in love with the English program. I fell in love with the poets, the teachers, the friends I was making, and I ended up going to Iraq with one of my professors, and that was crazy, going back to Iraq as a civilian, but it was a really cool thing. I was working as an intern on a documentary called The Peacemaker. I met with the University of Dilhuk. I got a lot of really neat experience under my belt, and when the time came for me to graduate, I decided that I really wanted to stay with the whole idea of education. My professors were so inspirational to me and I wanted to be just like them. So it didn't take me long to enroll at UMass Boston. They offered a great program where you are able to teach while in the program. So I focused on my master's degree in composition and creative writing. And I used my experience with Bridgewater and Iraq and then both Iraq trips to kind of write some poems and do some art, create. And uh, when I graduated from UMass Boston on my graduation day, I got a call from Bristol Community College asking if I would be an adjunct faculty member for their English department and I was over the moon. Happiest day of my life, hands down. And that's what I've been doing for the last couple of years. I'm currently a third-year MFA student working on my second master's fine focus in poetry, hoping that I can open more doors for myself as far as what I can teach and where I can teach. I know it can be hard when you're 18 years old and people ask you what you want to go to college for, and I just want you to know that it's okay to not know. If you know, that's amazing. Good. Good. Everybody is unique. Some people know right away what they want to do and they go for it. And other people, they have to go down a bunch of different paths like me. And it's okay if that's you. It's okay to not know. It's okay to try new things. And it's okay to change as life changes. As your experience on this planet moves forward, your interests are going to change. You're going to want to play around with new things. And so the point is, is that it's okay to not know.